Hey, what's up, fam? And today we're doing some uh, oxtails with a twist. I'm gonna do it more of a, a Jamaican style, but not but not hot spice because my daughter got these some as well. So what I'm gonna use today is some allspice, some coriander, some thyme, paprika. I told y'all about that complete. I don't, I don't, I use that on pretty much all my meat. Some onion powder, garlic powder, and this robust coffee uh seasoning. It, that's pretty good stuff too. I think I told y'all about that before too. I got some oregano, garlic pepper, some cumin, and I'm gonna use a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar and some minced garlic. So I'm gonna put all that in there. Marinate it. Let it marinate for about thirty minutes. And I'm gonna air fry these. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna do about three tablespoons because this is about seven tape. I mean, seven pounds of oxtail. So I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of brown sugar. And what this brown sugar do is help give it the color, plus give it a little sweet to it, a little sweetness to it. Not too much, but it helps it helps uh, with that color. Then pairing in there, that's about three tablespoons. I got some allspice. Y'all know I really don't measure my uh seasonings. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> they should know that. <laughs> Shit. Let the cooking guys take over. <laughs> Let them do their thing. That's how my grandmama did it. And so everything was, was all right. Everything was fine. <laughs> all right, everything was good. Yeah, one of grandmamas like I did. <laughs> See, my grandmama didn't play. Use some of this paprika. I usually use that smoked paprika, but I don't want that smoke flavor in this. So I'm gonna just use regular paprika. And all this, all I use this for is really for the color. Give us some color. So what's up, baby? Nothing much dealing with this weather changing. Your yeah, body got to adjust. On, the time and got pushed back. So yeah. now my curfew is 5 o'clock instead of 7. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it happens. Got to be in before dark. Every year. It's be, you be used to it now. I am. Damn That's near 50. I ain't, wait, first of all. Damn near 50. You I'm 42. Be used to. I'm yeah. closer to 40 than I am Tell, to 50. You can lie to the people if you want to. Closer to 40 than I am to 50. You can lie to them if you want to. Whatever. Now, you are almost 60. Pressing 50. And I don't lie about mine. Yeah, you are almost 60. So, Ooh, you should be good used already. to it. Mm -hmm. Them seasons combined. Shit. That's good already. Yes. Oh yeah, just in case y'all didn't know, y'all did wash these oxtails. <laughs> I let them soak in a little water and vinegar. You gotta be clear. <laughs> I trim, I trim the, uh, I trim them a little bit, not much. I ain't gonna take too much fat off of them. That gives it the flavor. A little juiciness too. Yeah. But what I'm gonna do is air fry these oxtails. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm going to make the sauce on the side. And once I finish air frying them, I'm going to put them into a sauce or a gravy and let it cook for about two, three hours. That's different. I ain't ever I'm, heard I'm, of it. Yeah, air I'm air air fry. I'm, 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 it is something different. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm doing it, I wanna, I'm, I'm trying, so I want to see. Because if you know, oxtails hold a lot of grease. Yeah. So I want to air fry them by air fry them. It's dripping into that pan up under the, the, the uh, first one. And see if that will, will help take some of that, take some of that fat up off of it. Hey, these, I tell y'all right, hey, these smell good already. They really do. It was a guy I was looking on Facebook. He got arrested for stealing meat. Mm -hmm. When I tell you them trays of oxtails, those oxtails are so meaty, you ain't hardly see no fat on them. I said, Lord. Yeah. Why couldn't I be in the in the vicinity? Yeah, you know, <laughs> these mugs is, you don't want to be, right. like, be playing with these. Yeah, they was some good looking oxtails that he had. So I'm going to let this marinate for about 30, 40 minutes. Usually, I would probably let them go for a couple of hours. Let them sit in the refrigerator for about two, three hours, and then cook them. But I'm about to air frying them. Hopefully that air fry will cut down some of that time. Mm -hmm. 
They looking good already. Yeah, they look good. Tell the, you, tell the people you'll be right back. Yeah, yeah they better know. <laughs> We're going through the whole process. <laughs> Let me put some basil up in here. Mm -hmm. Flavor on flavor. Shit. <laughs> gotta add some damn bad. He'll be back, y'all. Those are some big boys, sir. They are. They better taste like some. Hey, what's up, fam? And we finna start our frying these oxtails. So what I'ma do, y'all look at all that seasoning. These motherfuckers gonna be fire. <laughs> I'ma put it on bake and I'ma start off in like 15 minutes. And I'ma see what they looking like after 15 minutes. Now what you wanna do, you don't wanna crowd your air fry, just like you don't wanna crowd if you do it on the stove. So these are some big boys, so I'ma put about four of them in at a time, give them a little, little breathing room. And let them go for about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna check them out, see what they looking like. They may need another 15, 20 minutes. So I'm only gonna air fry them to give them the color. Once they come out, I'm gonna make a sauce for them, transfer them to their sauce, throw them in the oven, and let them bake for about two hours. Give them an hour at a time. So I'm gonna let these go for 15 minutes and I'll be back to you. All right. Oh yeah. Look at Okay, fine, that's what we're looking like right now. That's that 15 minutes. You see it's getting that color to it. So I'm gonna give it another 10 or 15 minutes and this, this batch should be ready. I'm gonna pull it out and sit it to the side. Okay, we'll be back in the back. All right, y'all, that's that first batch of oxtail. Them motherfuckers look good, got a little crisp on them. They gonna go in that sauce, they ain't done yet. <laughs> they got a nice little flavor to it. So what I'm doing right now, while I'm cooking that second batch, I'm sauteing off some peppers. I'm going to saute off some onions and uh, celery as well. And I'm going to start making that sauce for them uh, oxtails. Okay, you got it smelling good up in here, Mr. Oh, yeah. Ford. We got some turkey some turkey necks going. We're going to do a little cabbage. What y'all know about them necks? And we're going to do a little brown rice. All right, so, all right, all right, all I'll right. I'll be back to you once I get done with this uh, sauce and put them uh, up in there and let y'all see what we looking like. All right. Yeah. All right, fam, I'm putting that sauce together. Uh, I already did the peppers, the red peppers, green peppers, and all the different colors. Now I got the celery and the uh, onion, put a little garlic in there. I'm adding some peppers back. Put them back up in there. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to go put up a quart of beef broth. Beef broth. Now you can use chicken broth, vegetable broth, whichever one you want. I'm gonna go with beef. Might as well you're using oxtail. Yeah, some people still <laughs> like to use chicken broth, vegetable broth. Mm. You know, just let them know they do have an option. Y'all got options around here. Now, even though I'm putting beef broth, I'm gonna still put some beef base to reinforce that flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a tablespoon, maybe a little bit over a tablespoon up in there. Yeah, I know he don't measure. Do what the ancestors tell you. Go with your heart, baby, go with your heart. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna come with it. I would have put tomato sauce in there, but I didn't have none. And then I thought about it, I wanted some tomatoes anyway, so I'm gonna just use some stewed tomatoes. Okay. I'm gonna let this come to a boil. Yeah, we're gonna let this come to a boil. And see where we are. I might need to add some ketchup or something in there. Now I'm gonna use this as a gravy, not a sauce, y'all. So I'm gonna tighten this up. Once I get the, the taste that I'm looking for where I'm at, then I'm gonna tighten it up. Okay? Alright. I got some carrots that I'm gonna add in there as well. But I'm gonna wait. That's gonna be one of my last steps. Okay. And we still waiting on that next batch of tail to come Let's out. See what they're looking like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's 
what I'm looking for, y'all. And if y'all can see down in there, see that 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 fat. A lot of that fat is at the yeah. bottom. And that's what I, that's 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 what I'm trying to get rid of. So I'm gonna let this go for another six, seven minutes. I'm gonna bring that out. I think I got one more batch to go in. Okay. He'll be back, back, people. Taste this sauce. That's, that's them earth fried oxtails. That's, hey, that's, that's step one right there. Now we're finna go to step two. I already made the sauce for it. Like I said, once it start baking, get close to being done. If I need it tighten, I'm gonna tighten it up. So, so what I'm finna do now is pour all this liquid over this oxtails. Look at that. You can still help. You just need to get back for a second. Oh, you could have helped, Mom, but you weren't in here. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's a little too much sauce for what I was looking for, but it, it'll cook down, though. Yeah. Now, I'm going to start off with like an hour. Then I'm going to start checking the ice tears, see how, they, how tender they are. Mama, I think my sugar hurt me. I got the oh, oven set on 350. For one hour, all right. So we finna we finna throw them in the oven, y'all. We we'll be Three back in an hour. hour. All right. So far, so good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, fam. There go them oxtails in that uh sauce, Lord of Jamaican style. Hey, only thing about this here is not spicy. Cause like I said my daughter had to eat some, but it's pretty good sauce. If one thing I want y'all to notice. The reason I air fry them, you could tell, hey, you don't see too much grease in there. It's a little grease in there, but it's not as much. And that's what I was looking for. So I'm going to put a plate together, let y'all check it out. And then we out of here. Say, what's up, people? What's up? All right, y'all, tell me if them oxtails don't look good. Fork tender, baby. Look at that. Right off the bone. Make sure you try that, too. <laughs> and they good. Make sure you try that, 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 that sauce, that kind of turned into like a little gravy a little bit. I didn't want it too thin. I wanted to have a little, a little body to it. Just for that rice. But them, them was good. You want to taste? Yeah. What you want to taste? Get it. These, these oxtails ain't no joke. Now if they good, how's that, mama? Still the people. Y'all heard it right there. If that ain't convincing, I don't know what to tell you. I want y'all to know, remember one thing. Any, any meal cooked with love is always fulfilling. Y'all have a blessed Sunday.